in this third of four videos on how to leverage the power of seller tools, ManyChat and Facebook for Amazon sellers, we will be talking about Facebook ad targeting. Facebook ad targeting is often misunderstood um, and it is one of the most important single factors that define our success with Facebook ads. So there are different ways to, to target our, our, our customers or future customers. If we, do, if we have some email list or some Facebook pixel or if we have current manage apps to subscribers, we can, we can uh, create custom audiences out of those and then from these custom audiences we create lookalike audiences uh, which is let's say a little bit more advanced uh, topic. It's not where you where we start. We start with core audiences on Facebook. These are interests or job titles or or similar. These are targets Facebook provides us. These are people, for example, who like Mike Tyson. Or these are people who like who like some 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 persona like Rocky. These are not necessary buyers. This is very loose targeting. Um, so today we will go over these core audiences to get you to get you a few examples so you will understand how, how can you then target uh, your product, whatever your product really is. We will go over random examples so you will get a good uh, broad overview. But this is where we start with core audiences and this is where everybody starts and that's okay. Results with these two audiences can be, can, can be very good. If this is done good properly, you should see good results. So let's go to Amazon and see how we would do this. Um, so here on Amazon, I was searching Home 7, for example. If we see this book, this, this first product here, five essential steps to organize your home in seven days. Let's open this one. Then next one is iPhone home button is totally different one these are some books more books more books okay this is another one so this is first product let's say this is our product so how we would target this this is five essential steps to organize your home in seven days it's a book right okay good so we we want to advertise a book so we go to Ad Manager. Here in Ad Manager, I would like to point out a few things. Um, I'm using the new version. So if you're using previous version, old one, switch to the new version. You will see button on top to switch to new version. And then we just click Create. And there is another thing I would like to point out here what we are doing here. I am not using guided guided version guide creation this one um, for many reasons uh, so if you use this one for the purpose of this video so you can follow along switch to quick quick creation and you might even see that so later why we use this like this so campaign name would be you can close this one the campaign name would be let's say um, this is book how to organize. Let's see, this is a book. Okay, good. So we will select traffic. You will just select messages. You will use campaign budget optimization. Daily budget 25. You can you can, you can start with 10. Um, that's good. And this is what we will do. Here, this below ad set, we will leave it empty, and then ad name we will leave empty. So we just click save to draft. Now, in this in this ver version of creating ads, um, here on top if we have kind of breadcrumbs, kind of path where we are. This is our campaign. This is the first one is campaign, and then is this arrow means this is our ad set. We have one one ad set, and we have one ad. So we have messages, this is good, we have budget, lowest cost, this is all good. And by default, that's it. There is nothing here to do. Then we click the next level, which is ad set. In ad set, we do, we do, we do, we do create targeting. I'm in Spain, so I'll remove Spain. 
I have Jewish United States. United States. I like to select not everybody, tourists, but people living in this location. So people who are living in USA. And then this home improvement book is most likely not um, because now we are looking at here at age, right? These are people who have home, right? So they're not 18 years old. So I would not select less than 35 years or maybe 40 years. Let's say 40 years is, the, let's say, somebody has a home. And 65 is maybe, maybe too much. So maybe I would go to 55. Um, you, can, you can choose man and woman. That's okay. For language, I would do select English because let's say that we did do 100% rebates, um, so we can use English. And then here in detailed, now we have 100 million people, right? Which is too much. So in detailed targeting, we will now select who? We will select people who like to organize home, right? Book, it's a book, right? So. It is not fiction, it's not vintage, it's not BuzzFeed books, but it's, we can just say books. These are people who liked some page about books. And then we will narrow audience and we will say, this must be home homeowner, right? This must be most likely home homeowner um, who would be interested in improving home. Probably would be, would be um, house white house house we select house this is not really what we want but we do this to get suggestions right property house hunting apartment new home new house new house looks like a good like a good good targeting right so they like books and they they're they're somehow related to having owning or living in a house right they must also like amazon.com interest okay we can maybe try narrow further it's 1.7 million that's this is good, good good number so this would be this would be targeting for for this book about home improvement right okay another another case would be this iphone home button for iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, right? So, if we go here and create another campaign, and here it is, right? Again, we have this campaign, then we go into Ad Set where we will select targeting. Who has iPhone 7? Everybody has iPhone 7. And it's not something what is very age specific, right? So 18 to 50, I don't know, probably so let's say maybe 60 would be would be the the, the number. So iPhone 7 owns iPhone 7. How many are they? There are seven million of these people. Um if we try to narrow down with Amazon.com interest, let's see what we get. We get 3.4 million people, right? Um, now here targeting is difficult to select different, more narrow targeting because who breaks phone, iPhone 7 or whichever phone, everybody. So there is no some, some specific type of or behavior or people who breaks phones and others do not. So there is nothing really here Surely, we, if we would take more time, we would find the, the ways. But this is the idea, right? If this is, these are your, um, your, this is your product. They have to own iPhone, and they to, to narrow down to lower the number. They need to like um, Amazon.com. Next one is this one. It's home brewing bucket. Let's say that we, no, let's say they they will make I don't know. They will make they will make beer, let's say. So we will create a new campaign and we will say 
home brewing home brewing brew bucket okay the pain is okay that's it that's it is targeting right who we will select we will select home brewing fermentation maybe home beer Brewing and brewing that sounds good. Let's say that this is okay, and then we will just add Amazon.com so we lower the amount a little bit more. Employee school is in the red. This one, let's see how much two million. This is a good size. This would be the, the thought process how we target target people. Now, if we just do one ad, this is how it looks ad, untitled ad. So here we would upload a picture. We've seen that pictures are working the best. Uh, connecting messenger, connecting messenger is good. Primary text here inside we would we would put some emojis. We can bring it back. Then we can maybe say. We can then take the, the, the bullet points really and then just um, and then just list here some most important things. The idea is to first with, with first line call them out people who are in home brewing thing. Then we tell a little bit more about the product, what this product is, bullet points really. And then here down we would explain explain terms of the deal. Okay. So something like this, and then we would add add picture here on top, and this is this is really this is really it, right? For for the tab descent button to start. Okay. To recap, if we do not have email list or Facebook pixels or manage of subscribers, we will start with core audiences. So this is what we were we were looking today. In the next video, we'll put everything together to get everything together play in a, as a nice, nice machine. So until then.